Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at the Obsidian Incremental Writing Plugin. Uh, now at first when I looked at that plugin I wasn't sure how it was really an incremental writing plugin, but evidently incremental writing is actually a specific term, specific thing for continuing to come back to your written notes on a, you know, regular basis. So you just set this plugin up to basically remind you of them, which one is the top priority, and it just kind of cycles through them. But we'll get to that. Um, that seems more like spaced repetition to me, but uh, you know, and that's I think what I would use it for. But that's what incremental writing is. So let's dig into this. But before we do, a few ways you can support this channel. Number one is take one of my courses. Uh, if you go to curtismichaelca slash education, you can see all my courses listed there. And in fact, the cheapest way to get them is to become a member. Uh, you get monthly and then you can have access to all the courses. That's it. Buckle up. Let's talk about incremental writing with Obsidian. So now, as always, we need to start by going into our community plugins. We need to browse and we need to search for it. Incremental writing. You can see I already have it installed, but you install it and then you'd enable it. And now we can go to our settings, which are down here. Incremental writing. So it starts off with a general folder called IWQs, which is your incremental writing cues. Um, your default queue, you can have multiple different queues, so multiple different in this idea with incremental writing, different writing projects that you're taking on, and then you can work through a specific queue depending on what your needs are that day. Um, default scheduler is A factor. So what is A factor? A factor basically exponentially increases the time between looking at a note as you go. Um, whereas a uh, simple scheduler just drops whatever you just worked on to the next, to the bottom of the queue. So A factor actually schedules that over dates uh, and does some multiplication to that. So it keeps getting farther and farther away. Uh, you can change your drop down date list um, when you choose a uh, review interval. Um, default first rep. So I actually have this set to next week. It comes default set in the Unix epoch, uh, which as a programmer is a thing you understand. But I always think that's dumb because nobody else cares what that is. So it's like 1970, I forget the exact day, um, which is the start of Unix. Uh, I set it to next week, you can just type this in. If you have the natural dates plugin, you can use natural uh, named dates with all your stuff. So I just recommend that plugin as like a default one you need. So I put it in as next week. Uh, you can set up to ask as your next repetition date, right? Uh, when you execute in the next repetition command. So when you've worked on something and you say, hey, let's repeat this, it can actually ask you for the date or it can do it uh, automatically um, with your A factor scheduler or your simple scheduler. Um, Q tags. So this allows you to um, just tag things. So you can tag things and they get added to your queue. And there's priority. So if you have multiple notes to be reviewed on one day, then the priority is what determines which ones you get next. And default maximum priority, those are just settings. Um, and auto add new notes. So you could automatically add any new uh, notes to the default queue. Uh, if you're only, if you have a whole vault for writing some projects singly, then that might be a useful one. But let's look at it and let's just start with this note. So let's open up our command palette and we'll say uh, uh, incremental writing. Uh, add note to queue. And let's review it tomorrow. Priority, we'll just leave it there and we could say, this is also a note, so I can say why I want to review this. This is a cool note. Add to queue. So if I go over to my file browser, I should have the IWQs and I have my default queue. You can see I have a link to the Obsidian incremental writing plugin here, and that's it. Shows me the date as well, the interval. Uh, my next repetition is the 11-27th, right? That is, in fact, tomorrow, because I'm recording this on 26th. So now I have a note that I could be reviewing on the 27th, and I can have multiple cues in here as well. So it's set up as A factor right now, uh, A factor two, uh, you don't know what that means, and the interval. So another way to add notes to your queue is with the fuzzy add note feature, command P, and let's go incremental writing, and you can see right down here, add note to queue with fuzzy finder. So this means I can just search for anything. Let's say more, more Safari extensions. So this is a vi future video I'll do on more cool Safari extension or more, here's even better one that I'd like to review more often. More childhood measurement means makes uh, for fragile children. So that's something I should come back to and I can choose when I want to review it. Uh, let's say uh, 
in two days, sure. Gives it a priority, it's gonna to default to the IWQ, and I'm not gonna leave a note. I'll add to queue, and you can see it got added right behind here. Another way you can get links in, uh, specifically in a note here, you see I have a note, uh, something I wrote, um, and I want to make sure I go back through these. In fact, let's make sure this note is created, because I believe I read that if the note isn't created, it won't actually add it. So I just made sure those two notes are created, and this RCMP one as well. This is a future uh, email newsletter post, uh, and in those you get stuff, cool research links, and stuff I've been thinking about and researching. So next we'll just open up the incremental writing plugin. Writing, and there's two actually, you can add links uh, in selected text if you've highlighted text, uh, and or you can add links with a note, and that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll add links with a note, and I'm gonna add it to my default queue. I'm just gonna leave everything set. And so min and max priority means that the different links in here is gonna get spread over the priorities um, between what is it set at like zero and 100. So I'll add to queue. You see it added these ones to queue. And it definitely, because in the demo I tied just a few seconds ago, it didn't add some of the notes. So if I go to my queue, you see I now have these to go review. And so I would actually go review. In this case, I'd write here like what specifically uh, is the RCMP, which is the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. And I would probably write some history about that. Now another thing you're supposed to be able to, supposed to be able to do uh, is add everything in a folder. So I have my writing folder here, uh, which has a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not gonna add that one because there's stuff I literally have not, uh, that I've already written and is published there. But if I go to say my books from Readwise folder, I should be able to go add folder to IWQ, uh, choose my default note. Again, this will be spread out uh, across priorities and add to queue. But it's not working. I don't know if that's because I have 190 notes to add to queue. It needs to be less. That works. I'll report this as a bug uh, on GitHub as well and see if we can figure out why it's not working. Uh, maybe even there's some note in there formatted funny. That's entirely possible, but you should be able to do that as well. And that is actually in one of the videos demonstrating it from the author of the plugin. Now, one other final way, and not final, you can actually add individual notes you're looking at to your queue as well, um, is to start looking at, say, a search. So let's say uh, we're gonna look for path, uh, let's go tags. Uh, and um, what else should we look for? Community. So anything that has path of tags and community. So I can add these ones right here to the queue as well. You should always have uh, explain search terms on as well. And right here we see a button that says add to IWQ and I can add that and I'll add it to my default one, and then we'll hit add. You see it added these four notes to the queue. So this is just four notes that are, you know, with the word community in my tags folder. So, or it has the path of tags in it. So in this case, it's the file name. Um, you can see a tags community building added as well, tags craft markdown, because there's a link to the Slack community in there. So we could probably refine this as well to make it not add some of these, because I don't know if I necessarily need this craft one. Now, how do you actually review these notes? So there's, kind of two things you can look at. If you have multiple queues, the first thing you're gonna to need to do is load whichever queue you want. So I hit load queue and I only have one, so I'll just choose that one. If you have multiple, you can use your arrow keys or your mouse to select which queue you wanna do. So we'll load that one and let's go to incremental writing, next repetition. So now it's taking me to the next note I need to revise. Um, and this is different if you paid real close attention to the table because I demoed this once and so it already revised one note. So I've revised this one and it's actually bumped it down to the bottom of my list and used the A factor sorting to you know spread the note out. So this one is about you get paid for hard work and this is actually a video I would like to do for, for my channel, for something anyways, about you get paid for hard work, um, work that others find difficult, right? Linking to some of the other resources that I've come up with on that. And that's really it. Um, that is the incremental writing plugin. Um, I, you know, I said at the beginning of this, I wasn't sure that I'd use it for incremental writing, but now that I've kind of toured through it and set up an incremental writing queue, I could certainly see a way to add, let's say my hard topics, the ones like this, uh, you know, this script, this post I just kind of highlighted here about you getting paid for hard work, ones that I want to come back to multiple times and review and, and build on. Um, so I can definitely see wanting to do that as a continued review. That's it though. If you liked the video, thumbs up below. If you love to subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened and then keep your notifications off because you should be doing your own writing, reading, something like that. Uh, if you want to support the channel, you can become a member, curtismichael.ca slash members membership. Um, 
it's on the site anyways. And, or you can take one of my courses. Uh, members get my courses are free and they get my paid newsletter, which would talk about, you know, you get paid for hard work. You talk about enforcing um, economic policy through violence. So that's it. Have an excellent day.